Happy Land. This is Dave. We're the NC Beer Guys. We drink beer produced here in North Carolina, provide our opinions of them here on our web blog, and also on our website, ncbeerguys.com. Remember, drink local and keep your beer dogs in North Carolina. Today, we are pleased to be drinking the Green Man Porter out of the Green Man Brewery in Asheville. Uh, the legendary Green Man has existed for centuries, they say, but he has been brewing in Asheville since 1997 as one of North Carolina's oldest breweries. Green Man says their offerings are, quote, consistently recognized for quality as well as loyalty to traditional English styles. Additionally, our brewers, meaning their brewers, strive to bring innovative and exciting new flavors to beer-loving folks. In addition to some great flagship beers, Green Man crafts seasonals and specialty brews like the Rainmaker Double IPA and the Dweller Imperial Stout. Check out the beer page on their website for more details. Uh, this beer, it comes in at 6.0 ABV. The Green Man people say, the brewer, said, the brewer says, this is a delicious, full-bodied ale, rich in flavor, yet easy to drink, a creamy, smooth mouthfeel. The mm. slight hot bitterness only enhances the distinctive chocolate and roasted finish to come. Chocolate. That's quite a bit of description there. A uh, ruddy brown in color, Green Man Porter offers a bittersweet balance of malt and hops with a light cream finish. Continues to reap accolades and medals from those who know best. So that's a lot of promo for a Porter out of Green Man Brewing out of Asheville. Yeah, this traditionally crafted award-winning British style porter, like a true rock star, enjoys a legendary okay. following. S discover. Savor, repeat. I like that. That's cool. Discover, savor, repeat. That's better than and drink local and keep your beard off North Carolina. That's right. And you know what? It wasn't brewed in Asheville. It was conceived in Asheville. <laughs> so, wow. All right. We're done with the promo. On to the drinking. <laughs> Let's so see how it tastes. It's, it's dark. Very, very dark. Very, very dark with dark brown. It is. It is. Let me go. Let's just snort this part. <laughs> snort. Uh, it's a lot. It's a very, very light, light multi aroma. Yeah, there's not a lot of uh, robustness or overpoweredness in the aroma at all. No. And the head was a little not substantial. Not substantial, but it was nice. And yeah. what what we did get is staying up. Yep. And you can see the creaminess and the thickness. It does stay on the glass a little. Yep. You get a little uh, residue laziness on the glass. So yep. that, that promises some good creaminess, as they say. Let's see what we think. Well, let's see. Oh wow. The creaminess they nailed it, for sure. Oh, boom. Right. They got that creaminess out of the way. No uh -huh. false advertising in that sense at all. Remember to get it all over your tongue. The back of your tongue is where you get all the flavor. And the aroma flavors, of course, you know. But mm, it's so smooth. Wow. They talk about it being balanced between the roastiness and the hops, and <laughs> it really is. Oh. It's a little hoppy for a porter, you think? No. You don't get a lot of hops for a porter. I'm for a porter. zip. I'm getting a nice, rich, um, it's, a, it's a dark, multi flavor. I like the chocolate on this too. A um, little bit of, bit, I'm getting chocolate bitterness into it, but right. not bitterness where it stings, but just enough that you know um, it's not milk chocolate, but mm -hmm. it's got mm -hmm. that nice little roasty flavor to it. But the dark chocolate bitterness, like yeah, but oh, I'm, this is a this is very much a, a uh, I can see why it's award winning and even legendary. It's kind of it's very unique. I, it is. I think I'm really. This is good. This is good. And what's really cool is for the longest time, I guess they've changed the way they're just dis uh, distributing. Uh, usually, you get. Green Man in the Bama sizes, but now get them in six packs, and the distribution is, you know, we're getting, you know, going from Asheville over to Raleigh, we're able to get these, so I bet you you can get them where you want to get them. And as we always say, well, we're going, we're out of a lot of order. No. We want to give you the ratings before we move on to giving you your feedback. But let different people at Green Man know what you think of the beer. Give us some feedback. Uh, now they're out in more places. There are more people going to be trying their product. They may have been legendary in the mountains, and now more and more 
statewide and, and outside the state, I assume. So you say legendary in the mountains, now they're moving over to the Piedmont. That's right, we'll let us know. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna give this a bomber for sure. Oh, I'm... You're gonna do more than a bomber. Yeah, I'm gonna go a lot more than a bomber. I'm going to grab one. Well, you were good one. <laughs> one grade yet better. But That's still big. I, I honestly, because I love when I get surprised by a beer, um, and we we get our share of porters, and I like porters, but this has got such a nice, smooth flavor to me. I this is uh, wow, good, really wow. Yep. And just like we said about Green Man, liking to know. Uh, and hear back from you as drink of beer drinkers. We like to know what we're, your feedback on what we're doing, so let us know. Um, remember, drink local. Keep your beer dogs in North Carolina. Especially and, here. Especially with the Green Man product. And until next time, we'll catch you later, buds.